We're certainly glad you joined us today. We trust that our time together in God's Word will be a rich blessing and help to you as we look again into the pages of the Scripture to allow the Spirit of God to teach us through His Word. I'd like to look with you today at a particular word in, uh, in the Bible, especially in Paul's epistles. That's the word reconciliation or reconcile. It's used uh, numbers of times in, the, in, in uh, Paul's epistles, and it has a very special meaning. And it's a very important concept. Sometimes when people think about reconciliation, they mistake it with forgiveness or with salvation or with justification or with redemption. And it, now listen carefully. <laughs> this, is, this is deep Bible study and thought here. You know that reconciliation is not forgiveness, first of all, because they're spelled differently. Whoa! It's not justification because they're spelled differently. It's not redemption because they're spelled differently. That's right. You see, there are many terms in the Bible that God uses to explain what was accomplished through the cross work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Each one of these terms has a specific meaning. Each one of them looks at a specific facet about the cross work of Christ. And when you use sloppy agape, sort of like the guy used to call it, when you just kind of mesh them all together and you don't make the distinctions between them, you wind up in real confusion. One of the books that we make available here is a little book called The Dictionary of the Gospel. Uh, Brother Tom Bruchet, who is the producer of our program here, Pastor Bruchet, uh, wrote this book a number of years ago, and it's been a book that's gone around the world bringing help and light to people about these issues. The Dictionary of the Gospel goes through a, a series of terms, righteousness, imputation, justification, grace, redemption, propitiation, remission, forbearance, sanctification, salvation, all of those were, and reconciliation, all of those terms are different. They all make up the multifaceted nature, faceted nature of what the Lord Jesus Christ did in His uh, work at Calvary. So it's important to understand each one of those. Page 57 of the book and definition about reconciliation, it means to restore to friendship and fellowship. In other words, to be reconciled is to, be, is to have your status changed from one way to another. You're an enemy, now you're restored back to friendship. 